for Joel, please raise your hand. We'll kick it off with Kyle Newback. Hey, Joel. So I just wanted to see if I could get your thoughts on, did you see everything happening today in the Capitol? And I guess how much did you guys get to talk about that either before or after the game tonight? Um, uh, I, uh, we had shooting around and then I went to sleep, but I kind of heard about it. Uh, and uh, it's unfortunate. I don't know all the details, but coach had a pretty long speech uh, before the game. Uh, uh, it's disappointing, but uh, like I said, I don't know much about it yet because uh, I was uh, I was sleeping. So more to the point about the game, I guess. What do you think happened in the second half that you guys gave up that big? And how did uh, Brad, uh, Brad Bill uh, happened. Uh, he got too many uh, good looks. Um, we uh, we weren't able to stop him, uh, but we did a better job in that in that fourth quarter where he only had what three points or something like that, or uh, four. Uh, so uh, we gotta do that all game. Uh, we got so many good defenders, and that should never be any reason why someone come in this building or on the road and drop 60 on us. Quick announcement that Tobias Harris is at the locker room feed. Our next question comes from Keith Pompton. What's up, Joel? Can you just talk about uh, I, the score was one, score was 131, 131. Uh, you, you, I think you had a, you had a three point play. You made two foul shots and you came back with a three. Can you just talk about that stretch? Well, um, that paid me to take over the game. Uh, that paid me to dominate. Uh, you know, uh, you know, I, I'm in a situation where you know these guys uh, have a lot of trust in me. Uh, so that's my job. Uh, so I just did my job, and uh, and like I said, I always give credit to my teammates. Uh, you know, we made the right uh, passes, and uh, you know, I just finished it. Mm -hmm. and, and I know right now you guys are about seven and one. Now you have go up against Brooklyn. Uh, then you have like Atlanta, Miami, Austin, the Lakers, all in this stretch. Yeah. Just what are you looking forward to seeing out of your team? Uh, I'm excited. Uh, obviously, uh, Brooklyn is still good, but uh, they're even better with uh, KD. That's unfortunate. Uh, you know, like I said the other day, uh, I'm probably not the least excited, um, but. You know, I want to see how we react and how we do against, you know, top teams. Uh, you know, uh, the teams we play, they're, they're good teams, they're great teams. Um, but when you talk about, you know, teams that are contenders, uh, you know, you talk about the Lakers, you're talking about the Clippers, those type of teams, Milwaukee, like we haven't played uh, any of those teams. So I'm excited to see how we go out there. And, uh, we definitely got to do a better job than we did tonight. All right. Thank you, man. Next question comes from Kai Carlin. Hey, what's going on, Joe? So uh, I wanted to get your thoughts on Seth. I mean, like, obviously the guy can shoot the ball. We all saw that tonight. But there were just so many different things he was able to do, uh, putting the ball on the floor. Uh, he ran a two-to-two -two man game with you. How's it kind of coming along with that? Uh, he's been he's been great. Uh, you know, he's, uh, he's doing his job. And uh, uh, I don't even know if he ever misses. Uh, he started the game five, six for six. Uh, from three, uh, so uh, that was a that was a great pickup, and uh, you know I give a lot of credit to you know Daryl uh, for making making it happen. Uh, obviously, uh, with the guys that we have around this year, it's a lot easier uh, than it has been. Uh, so it's easier for me, it's easier for Ben, it's, it's easier for everybody. The ball moves, everybody shares the ball, and uh, shoot a shoot, um, you know, and we all dominate. Thank you. We're going to take two more questions. First up with Austin Krell. Hey, Joel. So 10 big points tonight in the fourth quarter, and obviously down the stretch, you really locked in and drew a lot of fouls. Um, can you just talk about sort of how you find that extra energy within you to sort of lead the team that way and sort of pull them, you know, pull them away and with, with the lead when the game comes down to it? Um, you know, I like to think that uh, every time I'm on the floor, you know, I want to I want the team and I want myself to be uh, to do the best job possible. Uh, so, you know, whenever I'm on the floor, uh, you know, I want to elevate my team. Uh, I want to make sure we win games. So when we're in those type of situations, uh, I mean, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it, closer, 
or whatever. I gotta do my job. I gotta take it over, and I gotta, uh, you know, gather some wins. And uh, you know, but like I said, um, credit to my teammates, uh, just because, um, especially with the way I've been, teams I've been guarding me this year uh, with the constant doubles and triple teams. Uh, you know, at times it's tough, um, but when you got teammates that keep knocking down shots, uh, it becomes easier for me. Uh, so I just, we just got to stay the course and, you know, keep doing what we've been doing. Final question comes from Sean Barnard. Hey, Joel. It seems like you're picking up kind of national traction for being a legitimate MVP candidate. Give us your full pitch on why you really are the best player in the league. Uh, well, like, uh, we're winning some games. Uh, you know, it's too early. I'm focused on, you know, getting better as a team. Uh, like I always say, uh, to be able to be in those conversations, either MVP, Defensive Player of the Year, or whatever those are, uh, you got to win. Uh, so, you know, all I'm focused on is, you know, winning as a team. Uh, and if it happens, uh, that would be a huge accomplishment. But the bigger goal is uh, to win the championship. Uh, so. Uh, that's uh, that's the goal. So we got to keep winning. We got to keep on getting better, and uh, whatever that falls with it, uh, we'll be great. Thank you, Joe. Thank you.